guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. First off, I want to say, hope everyone out there had a safe and happy new year, safe and happy holiday season. Uh, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Today, we are going to do a what's in the bag video. You've seen a bunch of them out there on the internet. This one's going to be a little different though. Um, for those that watch the channel intro video, you know that I played golf a lot back in high school, 1998 to be exact was my senior going into junior year. And that's when I got really serious about golf. That's when I had my first fitting for a set. And I used that to play high school uh, through junior PGA tour events in high school. Then I went to Penn State for the professional golf management program. And I played a lot there at Penn State as well. Continued on until about 2010. And I got a little kind of burnt out of the game, honestly. And I just kind of stopped playing. And um, this past year, 2022, kind of fell back in love with the game. Um, but at this point, my clubs were pushing 25 years old. So this past year, I started to upgrade my set. And the reason I'm dropping this video now is because I just received the final piece to have my set completely upgraded. So what we're gonna do, which is a little different, we're gonna do what's in the bag then versus what's in the bag now. So I'm going to show you kind of what I was using at that point in all those tournaments and then what I'm using now in my journey to try and get good at the game of golf again. Before we talk about what's in the bag, let's talk about the bag itself. Uh, you'll notice that it is a Ping Hoofer 2. Now back in the late 90s, these were like the bags that everybody wanted. They were awesome. They still are. I love this bag. But as a high school kid, I couldn't really afford it. So when I went to Penn State, lucky for me, they gave everybody that was part of the professional golf management program their own personalized Ping Hu for two bags. You'll see it has Penn State on the one side, my name embroidered on the other side, and the professional golf management logo on the back pocket. So we'll start off with the drivers, right? Let the big dogs eat first. Back then it was a big Callaway versus Taylor made back and forth. I guess it still is, but they were the two predominant uh, kind of mid price range brands that you could go with. Um, and TaylorMade at the time had that, for those that remember, uh, that like really rusty orange, like baby food color. It was just a gross color. Uh, I, I don't know how anyone liked that, how it looked, but uh, I was a big fan of the way Callaway looked. Uh, I had a couple friends that played Callaways. Unfortunately, they were all right-handed, so I never got to use them until I got my own. Uh, but love the way the Callaway looked. Got the biggest big Bertha, nine degree. Uh, at the time, this thing looked huge when you put it down on the ground, right? Compared to most drivers, uh, the biggest Big Bertha was massive. Um, now you put it down the ground, it looks like a three wood compared to today's drivers, but that's what I was using back then. Now we are staying in the Callaway family, um, but we're going with the Callaway Rogue ST Max drivers. Still have it set at nine degrees, um, but I just love the way this thing looks. I love the way that it feels. I love ball just flies off the club face. Um, like I said, I didn't play from 2010 to last year, so I missed a lot of the different lines that came out with the Epics and the Mavericks and whatnot. Um, but I couldn't be happier with the Rogue series, so that's what we're rocking right now. Three Woods. We're gonna go back to then. And what we were rocking then was the Adams Tight Lies Three Wood. Um, this back then was uh, a big technological advance as far as three woods go. Um, everyone was trying to rock this thing. So much so that TaylorMade bought out Adam's Tight Lies and now implements their technology in TaylorMade Fairway Woods. So that's what I was rocking back then was the Adam's Tight Lies 3. Now, surprise, surprise, we are going with the Callaway Rogue ST Max 3 wood with the jailbreak technology. Um, love this club as well. Uh, it just, it feels effortless hitting this club. You swing it and the ball feels like it's getting just shot out of a cannon. Uh, so I couldn't be happier with the upgrade. Um, I haven't had it for that long, so I'm still getting a little used to it. I'm trying to dial it in a little bit, but I love it. We're gonna jump ahead to the putters. Back then I was rocking the Odyssey Dual Force 550. Um, I remember trying a million putters when I was younger. And I don't know what it was, but for some reason, this putter just jumped out as one that just, it just clicked. You know, sometimes you just try a club and you're like, this works for me. This works for my swing, this works for my putting stroke. Um, 
after trying a bunch of different putters, this is one I went with. Now, I'm rocking the King Cobra Sport 45. Uh, unlike before, where I tried a million putters, this was the first one I tried when I came back to try to get back into golf. And the second I picked it up and started trying it out, I feel like it was literally made for me. Um, everything about it just worked with my putting stroke and it just felt, it just felt perfect. Um, when I first started playing, I had a set of King Cobra Woods Driver 3 wood, 5 wood. I always loved the King Cobra brand. Went with this as my putter and couldn't be happier. Last but not least, we're gonna go with the irons. This is what we're leaving to last because this is the last piece that I just finally got upgraded. So recently that I haven't even used them on the course yet. Just in my fitting. So we'll go with the irons. Then what I was using was the Callaway Big Bertha X12 irons. When I first was looking to get a new set, a buddy of mine in high school had the biggest Big Bertha irons, either the 96s or the 94s. Uh, and I just loved the way they looked. And when I went to go look into buying them, they weren't really being sold much because the, the new X12s were being pushed. So that's what I ended up getting. But I couldn't have been happier. A lot of great rounds with those clubs. Now we are going with the Apex 21 irons. Couldn't be happier. Got a personal fitting recently and tried a bunch of different clubs some Mizunos, a couple different Callaway brands, a tailor-made iron. Um, I believe there might have been a ping iron in there too, but the Apex 21s by far performed the best with my swing. Um, I got the recoil dart graphite shafts in there. Like I said, haven't even used these yet. Just really looking forward to get them out on the course and uh, dial them in. With the wedges, then we were rocking the Cleveland 60 degree lob wedge uh, with the rust face on it. Um, this was the only wedge outside of the normal pitching wedge sand wedge that came with my iron set that I had in the bag before. But uh, being a lefty, being a fan of Phil Mickelson, had to have the 60 degree in there and I uh, had to learn to do some crazy stuff with it just like Phil did. Now, along with the pitching wedge and gap wedge for the Apex 21s, we have two additional wedges in the bag. Uh, the first is the Callaway Jaws Raw 54 degree wedge. Um, haven't used it on the course yet again, just in the fittings, but feels great. Can't wait to get out there with it. Uh, and the other wedge is the Callaway Jaws Raw Full Toe 60 degree lob wedge. Again, just felt great in the hands. Can't wait to get it out on the course. Can't wait to just practice a lot of these, you know, spinny nippers and, and, and all these trick shots and things that you never know you may need until you're out there on the course and you have a shot where you're like, oh, I can actually do that. So really looking forward to getting out there and using all these new irons and wedges. And uh, you'll see them coming up soon in my new videos that will hopefully be out soon once it gets a little warmer than 40 degrees here in Philadelphia. And the balls I've been using are the Callaway ERC Soft Triple Track Balls. Love the way these feel. Um, hit them great off the tee, get enough distance. But also I really feel like I have the touch and the feel and the spin around the greens. Uh, that I need to do what I want to do. Uh, so again, another Callaway product. Couldn't be happier, and that's the ball I've been using a lot lately. Just want to add in there a couple of the little gadgets that I use here and there. Um, first, everybody's got the range finder. I have the Go 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 V Pro. Um, nothing special. Pretty cheap on Amazon if you want to pick one up. Uh, but it just helps, you know, dial in those flags for, you know, those shots where you just kind of really want to attack the pin. Um, or if there's a hazard you're trying to avoid, see how far it is to that and stuff like that. But what I really, really like is the Bushnell Phantom 2. And this gives you, no matter where you're at on the course, direct to the line of sight of the green, it gives you three distances. It gives you the, what it is to the front of the green, what it is to the back of the green, and what it is to the center of the green. And what I really like about this is, for those blind shot approach shots, where you can't use a rangefinder because you can't see the pin, this thing is perfect. So if you're going over a hill, you're going over trees, what it may be, you still know what distance you need to hit without even being able to see the green. So this has come in so handy in so many rounds recently. Um, I couldn't be happier enough with the Bushnell Phantom 2. Last but not least, I wanted to throw out the PowerFlex Swing Trainer. Uh, you've seen ads for these on different social media sites. You've seen the Orange Whip, which is like another version of this, or this is a version of that. Um, and it just really helps you get loosened up before a round or before a range session. Um, I'm 40 years old now, so 
you know, not as limber, not as flexible as I used to when I was playing in my 18, 19, 20 year old body. But, uh, you know, it really helps you get limbered up, get loose, uh, so you don't go out there and hurt yourself. And that's it, guys. That's the what's in the bag video then and now. Um, I appreciate you guys stopping out. I appreciate you guys watching the video for those that stuck around. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate those that have been showing the love on the TikToks as well. Uh, so thank you for that. We'll be getting, you know, new round videos out here soon. It's just got to warm up a little bit. Still a little too cold for me to get out there and have fun. Um, but thank you again. Cheers to a great 2023 for everybody out there. Again, I appreciate you guys stopping out. Thank you very much. Till next time.